dear students in this module we will learn computation of mode for discrete series so you know what is discrete series values will be there and against that frequency values will be there that is the discrete series so computation is divided into two first one is by inspection and second one is grouping table and analysis table so how we will decide mode for a discrete series by inspection so when we learn individual observation also we have seen that we will just look at the values and we will see which has got the highest frequency that meaning the value which is repeated the maximum times the value which is repeated the maximum times that is the value with the highest frequency so that is by inspection so in this discrete series also it is possible when you are getting a discrete series you can just look at the values and you can see that which has the highest frequency so one thing you have to remember if the maximum frequency the value with the maximum frequency and the next highest frequency is very wide this marginal difference is there then you can go for this inspection method but if the margin is small or margin is very limited then you have to go for the grouping table and analysis table so by inspection in this case mode is decided as the variable with the highest frequency this method is known as method by inspection because just by looking at the values we are deciding the modal value an error of judgment is possible in this case see in the problem what i will explain with the grouping table and analysis table value 65 has got the highest frequency just by inspection we will see that that is the modal value but when we do the grouping table and analysis table we will see that 64 was the modal value so error of judgment is possible in this case so especially when the difference between the highest frequency and the next highest frequency is very small so in the example i am using for grouping table and analysis table the difference frequency difference is very small then error of judgment is possible so if you see this example just by inspection if you see this observation the wages the variable and number of workers so if you can see that highest frequency is for 310 that is 65 the next highest frequency is 320 with frequency value 50 so there is marginal difference is there then you can go for modal value is 310 modal wages rupees 310 because that is the highest frequency and the next highest frequency difference 15 values are there so that you can just go by inspection but it's always possible to prepare the grouping table and analysis table and that is the best way of finding the modal value when difference is marginal difference is there between the highest frequency and the next highest frequency so that is what i am going to explain with the grouping table and analysis table so a grouping table has got six columns it's very simple to learn so in column one what we will do already we have the frequency values whichever the value got the maximum frequency we will mark that in the analysis table in column two we are finding the maximum frequency in the immediate neighborhood so we are doing some additions second column what we will do frequencies are grouped in twos two values each we will take and we will write the totals for all the values in column 2 column 3 leave the first frequency and then add the values in twos now when we are coming to column 4 the first three frequencies we will add like that we will continue in column 5 we will leave the first frequency value and then we will add three each in column 6 we will leave the first two frequency values and then we will add three each so this process we will continue for all the remaining frequency values so in each of the columns we will mark the maximum total because this has to be represented in the analysis table so analysis table from the grouping table we have to take the information and we have to do the analysis table so in this table column numbers are put on the left hand side and the various probable values of mode on the right hand side see the ending values or the beginning values frequency values may not be represented in the analysis table because frequency modal frequency is always concentrated against the highest frequency values that will be the center values so the tail end values and the beginning values we can avoid in the analysis table then the values against which frequencies are highest are marked in the grouping table so these values will be represented in the analysis table that is what we are going to do and with the problem it's very easy to explain from the following data of marks of 100 students in a class find out the modal class so marks are there and number of students are there so now how we are going to do the grouping table see marks 58 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 68 and 70 the first column 
that is the frequency values itself 4 6 5 10 20 22 24 6 2 and 1 so which has got the highest frequency 65 has got the highest frequency that is 24 so by inspection if you'll decide we will decide that model value is 65 you can see that the next highest frequency is again 64 that has got the frequency value 22 so always i told you when the difference is marginal difference is only there between the highest frequency and the next frequency it's always advisable to do the grouping table and analysis table so here we have to do the grouping table and analysis table because the difference between the highest frequency and next highest frequency is only 22 so grouping table the first value we will take from column 1 is 24 so in analysis table against 65 we will put one tally mark now column 2 what we are doing the we are adding the values in 2 each 4 and 6 it's 10 next is 5 and 10 it's 15 20 and 22 42 like this we will continue in column 3 what we will do leave the first frequency that 4 we will not consider so what we will do 6 and 5 is 11 next is 10 and 20 is 30 like this we will complete the values in column 4 3 each we will add 4 6 and 5 values 15 next 3 values 10 20 and 22 52 like this we will complete column 4 now column 6 leave the first frequency and then add 3 each 4 we will leave 6 5 and 10 it's 21 next is 20 22 and 24 value 66 like this we will complete column 5 now column 6 leave the first two frequencies so 4 and 6 will not be considered next is 5 10 and 20 so the value is 35 next is 22 24 and 6 that value is 52 the last two values we will not consider because there is three values are not there so this is how we will complete the grouping table now in each column we have to find out which value has got the highest frequency so that we are going to show it in the analysis table so the first value i told you column one we are getting the highest frequency is 65 so we are putting a tally mark there column two when we added 63 and 64 frequencies we got the highest frequency in the grouping table so we are adding one tally mark again 63 and 64 column 3 we added frequencies for 64 and 65 we got the highest frequency so 64 and 65 one one tally mark we will give like this you have to take the total tally marks so that is 1 3 5 4 and 1 so by inspection we got the model class as 65 but when we do the grouping table and analysis table we are getting the model class as 64 so this is the best method of doing that because mode i told you by definition which has got the highest frequency in the immediate neighborhood so when you learn this process also you have learned that how we are avoiding certain frequency values and then we are adding the values two each three each like that we are finding the concentration of values towards the highest frequency so this is the best method we will be following so model value by inspection is 65 with highest frequency by definition model value is the value with the greatest density in the immediate neighborhood so as per the grouping table and analysis table model values change to 64 so always we have to use the grouping table and analysis table to identify the model class to avoid error of judgment see by 65 if you start the computation for this problem you will end up getting the wrong answer so always we have to do the grouping table and analysis table and this will be the method we are following for continuous series also so this is what I want to explain with this module. Thank you.